nowadays everybody should put their loyalty cards into their phone and the obvious choice would be apple wallet so i first tried apple wallet but unfortunately it doesn't work for all cards but it is still good for some cards which i will show you later in this video so go to the app store tap on the search and search for store card select it here you can already see that the store card has got five stars but apple wallet has got just three stars it's a proof why apple wallet doesn't work luckily we got store card so tap on here to install it then tap on open to open it then it will ask you to use your location which you don't need to allow so tap on don't allow to add a card simply tap on the plus sign in here tap on search card and type the name of your card such as tk you don't need to type the whole name it should find your card easily but if it can't find your card don't worry simply select the other card but if it finds your card simply tap on your card to be able to allow store card to scan your card you will need to allow it to access your camera so tap on ok if you're lucky and your card has got a qr code or a barcode you could easily scan it by using your front camera simply move your phone in a way that the barcode comes under the camera and store card would be able to very quickly read the barcode and the number but still double check that the number on the card and on the store card are matching if you tap on notes you could write a note related to that card and if you would tap on pictures you could also take photo of your physical card now if you would tap on back you could see the card is added and whenever you want to use it simply tap on it and scan it now I will try to add another card in the similar way that doesn't have a QR or barcode however after selecting the card it still asks me to scan the card but unfortunately this card doesn't have any QR or barcode so what you got to do is to select enter manually and then manually start entering the number at the back of your card and then tap on save then this app might ask you to allow it to track you you can tap on ask app not to track back to the store card and you can see after entering the number manually it has automatically created a qr code that corresponds to that number which then you could use in the shop to scan your card another important thing if you tap on here you will get many different options for that card and one of the most important one is to be able to edit the card so if you would tap on it you could easily then change the number for example if you go to a shop and try to scan your card and it doesn't work then you could edit the card number for example by deleting an additional digit and it might start working again just don't forget to tap on save now you can tap on back so as i said earlier sometimes it's more advantageous to use apple wallet especially if the card uses nfc rather than qr or barcode so to add this card to my apple wallet i logged into my account on a browser and there there is an option called add to wallet if it was selected then you could see the option called add to apple wallet tap on it and finally tap on add to add it to apple wallet and now if you would open apple wallet app you could see this card is now added it doesn't have any qr barcode or number on it because it's an nfc type card that means to be able to use this card you simply bring your phone and tap on the card reader without needing to scan it and i've tried to add the same card to the store card app you can see the save button looks as if it is grayed out however if you would tap on it it would still save that card if you would select any card and then tap on here then you could tap on add to apple wallet in order to make a copy of the same card onto your apple wallet in this way both your apple wallet and store card would have the same card stored if you would tap on account you could create an account by signing up using your email id in this way store card would save all your cards to your account 
And in the future, if you want to transfer your cards to a new phone, you could simply sign in again and then all your cards would become available onto your new phone. But again, you don't have to sign in to be able to use this app. And if you're struggling to find your card between so many cards, when you're in the shop, you could enable card assistant. By enabling it, store card would use your location and notify you of the relevant card for that store. Obviously, for it to be able to work, you would need to allow store card to access your location and allow it to give notification. But again, if you don't want card assistant, you don't need to allow access to your location. So next time you go to a shop or a gas station, simply open your store card app, find your card, tap on it to open it, and then app automatically would increase your phone's brightness to the maximum and you could easily scan your card and start collecting points. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. You can find my other videos in here and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.